Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Man the Maker. Welcome back to Thea 2, The Shattering. We are, um, doing pretty well. I gloated, or bragged a little bit in the last episode, and uh, we're gonna continue on that path, hopefully. I mean, I don't know. We're gonna go and try and do some of these things, right? There's a quest, though I don't know what quest it is. I mean, we've got Divine Path here. Choose one of your Divine Domains. What is this done? It just takes it off of there? It does. Oh, okay. Actually, I didn't know that you could click there. <laughs> Alright. Well, this is the Lightbringers. That's where we gotta go for you. And Divine Path is there, so we shall go there. Question is, do we pick magic or turmoil once we get there? We're pretty good at both right now. I mean, I feel pretty well-rounded in, in all things. Uh, honestly, Ooh, we've even leveled up. Our witch has leveled up. As has Carnelian. Soul tear. Spiritual attack draining your enemy's souls or weakness. Weakens its opponents after attacking. I mean, getting soul tear all the way maxed out seems pretty good. It does seem pretty good. Again, getting some weakness there. No, let's go. Let's max out the soul tear. Uh, Helena, you are. What class is that? I'm not entirely sure. Gatherer, you are. I mean, you have some gathering stuff. There's also protective word. That's not that great, I guess. It's okay. I'm not sure. Uh, you obviously were boosting mysticism, but I need to check up on what exactly. Helena is. I forget. This is a, a cleric. A human Zerka renowned for their wisdom and devotion to God. Yeah, okay. You do get down with some things then, don't you? Then, don't you? Protection is not bad. Gathering is also not bad. What is your gathering now? Be better at crafting. You do have one point in gathering already, apparently. All right, we'll get protective word. You're gonna get that, and you're just gonna max out soul tear. Get it up as high as we can. Great. Now we pretty much just want the the fastest route down here, I think. But on our way, we can maybe stop and get some food. Hey, and we can. Best again. Screeching sound from a nearby patch of shrubbery. Of course we will investigate. Come closer and see a small fur creature with yellow eyes and sharp teeth. Its body torn up and trapped in some orc-made snares. Is the orc left? Yeah. We'll help the little fella out. Now, we'll identify the creature. It's a skat. House demon is sometimes a messenger for the divine. Living it to its fate may be a dangerous move. We'll help the little fella out, even if the orcs come. We'll deal with it. You get it free of the snares, but its wounds are clear infected with nasty poison. The toxic green stuff is spreading fast, and the creature doesn't even cry anymore. This could be contagious. But that's misery. I mean, we could do this. Let's help the creature. Victory with injuries. Let's go. I know we got some people who can handle their business quite well over here. Even you. What? What is this? Yeah, you can just do your, your showing off. Quite good at that, aren't you? I mean, she also just deals tons and tons of damage. My god. Energy disturb. Get out, get out front and center. Come on. What are we doing here? Okay. You would like to kill them. Which he can do if nobody goes in front of him, but, you know, somebody probably will. Meanwhile, you can also just start stealing people's attributes. Or hurry people up. I don't think you, I don't think you have a place here, my friend. 
Adamir is not bad either. He can take the hits. But he won't kill them in one strike. Okay, that's somewhat expected and is actually fine with me. That is actually perfectly, perfectly fine with me. Let's force their hand over here. And let's see what the last move is. Okay. That's actually was a terrible move for them because now this guy's just gonna die blocking him. Okay, great. And uh, I am just going to. Do you still. No, you don't do anything. Okay. We can now uh, lower your combat attribute. Sure. Not that it matters, but hey. It's done is done. Yeah, you guys are gonna get wrecked pretty bad. Mm hmm. Energy Disturb followed up with that self protection is so good. Yeah, you showed off a little bit. Oh, you shot her, huh? Alright, that's fine. Victory with injuries, not much, but you know. Still there nonetheless. Self-protection is so good, and I always forget about it. Managed to cure the poison and patch up the wounds. The creature perks up within minutes. Gosh, that was a close one. I thank you, me dears. I thank you profoundly. Now it'd be tradition to offer up my services a house demon. Fry him a skank, but alas, I'm otherwise engaged. Still, debts owed are a bruise on one's ego. So here, directions to a lair where valuable gifts await your rescue. Now, so long, friends. All right. Where is this lair? Back where we just came from? Do we continue onward? Let's go back. Uh, but not now. We'll have to make camp. Probably pick up the grains. And the wheat. Yeah, that sounds good. Anything we can cook here? make some fish cakes. Do we want to make a god insanely ridiculous amount of fish cakes? No. We'll make two rounds of fish cakes. That seems suitable. Creatures of the night abound. It's fine. Yeah, we got some food and such. Pick it up. Ah. That's unfortunate, but at least it doesn't slow us down. Though it's always terrible to go through the woods. Yeah, well, what, what choice do we have? We have to rely on our regeneration. Come across the ruins of an ancient city. Most likely this was once a dwarven settlement spat onto the surface by the shattering. Yes, and you find a huge single and within it you see the rubble of an aimed old city. More importantly, there's a chest intact. Take the chest. We got gold and an iron polar. First strike attack, I think. Does this not also allow you to attack from the rear? Capitan has leveled up here. He's got a new counterattack or just more luck. I do kind of like him having retaliation. Let's get it. Um, and let's go ahead and look. Why does it have a, a star? Why indeed? Well, we might want in Frizora here. It says first strike, yes. What does that even mean? Deals damage to the enemy standing directly opposite when played onto the battlefield. Normal weapon attack can attack from the back row. 13 compared to 16. I am very much interested in this. You might not need as much armor though. Well, 
we might just give you 11.6, 9.8. Give you that. And give the Capitan this. Since he is in the front after all. Possibly doing a similar situation with this. Alright, it weakens her a little bit, but that's fine. She can now just go into the back. I don't mind that at all. Um, this child also, by the way, does not get anything. Sorry, Darko. You're pretty, uh, you're pretty useless. Uh, I mean, we can at least give you shields up. Sure. Sure. There you go, kid. There you go. Um, alright. That wasn't even the location, right? There is also something to be said. I mean, that was an iron pole arm. I actually, since we have so many strength characters here... Two-handed pole arm. It might be worth going into the pole arms. What does this do? One-handed pole arm. Oh, okay, one-handed. Eh, not so interesting. The two-handed, though, is interesting. No. Actually, rather interested by this. I mean, the iron pole arm is a level two, so it's already pretty good. No, no, just level one. Actually, we could make a quartz leather pole arm here. If we got it to level two. It's a big investment, two points there. So, so I mean, the two-handed scrolls. Mm. Our two-handed scrolls? Huh. No, I think we're pretty happy about that. Spiritual and mental challenges do not have a basic attack skill. Yes. And there's also the idea of more advanced jewelry. I mean, we could probably go and settle down somewhere soon, but we're not there yet. I think we're going to ride this wave that we have. We're in a small abandoned house. Most of collapsed. Move the debris ourselves. We are quite beefy. Perfect victory. We take it. Find several bodies. They are armed. Some salvageable equipment. Wood heavy armor. Another amber crossbow. Yeah, okay. I don't know how useful that really was, but uh, that's okay. Let's just go right back down uh, where we came from. If we at all can. We'll go and push forward with the main quest. Nice, another level up. Zora. Mm. That plus two strength over the one wits is pretty tough. Pretty tough to say no to. And this does make you better at other things, but... I think we're just going to go with the, the combat there for you. opportunity to do anything on our way here. Now, these guys, on the other hand, I think we are going to fight them on our way back. I think I kind of finally feel ready. We fought those other guys kind of by accident and uh, defeated them quite handily. Oh, the child! The child can become a craftsman, a gatherer, or completely different. I like doing chants. Sent into darkness, and from it they will emerge anew. Child walked to the path of fate. They did not have good things in store. Weakened and depressed. So, Radomir, you've lost a little bit of sanity. Rejoice that you have returned alive. Your class is a scoundrel? Or something? Let's take a look. Radomir... 
We do have this silly rat. Yep, you are a human scoundrel. Not the best. I mean, you've got... Some, yeah, you're pretty good at the intelligence thing. Which, you know, you've got this random blast, which I don't think is what we're going to keep you with. <sighs> Quite bad at that. I mean, you can... You're a little bit better at this, I suppose, than anything else. Actually, this is probably your best choice here. Adding a little bit of shielding. We'll go for it. It is not ranged. Whereas this is ranged. Only a small amount of damage. Another codex giving ice a spike, huh? It does give you some ability to do many different things. Whereas this actually makes you effective at some... Well, effective is a... And this does allow you to attack things from the back row. Okay. You can actually wear the heavy armor? You cannot. But you can wear the medium. And you've got a boar. Um, which, yeah, you can keep the boar. Okay, okay. We are soon going to have to look into another round of construction as we get more of these kids leveling up. It might be prudent to uh, actually do something useful with them. This is looking like an okay place to kind of settle down. We can get some more quartz, which I know we're short of. Let's go see what this is. Come to the abandoned ruins of a stone-built cram, some would call a temple in the Western dialects. Apart from the silence and dust, you see surprisingly few signs of decay. There are two distinct places of offering in the center of the tram. Cram? Tram? Shram? Tram. Change? Tram? Tram? Trange? Yeah. Okay. Tram. Trom? Whatever. You say yes. Trom sounds better. A little bit more uh, exotic. You see symbols similar to those of the Cosmic Pantheon, but you do not recognize the deity worshipped here. Well, we've got a Zerka, we can examine it closely. These markings are related to the supreme old god Peru, and often called the Father. He was the god of thunder and husband to the creator of the Pantheon, Makash. As powerful as they were centuries ago, not long after the great victory of the Awakening, they simply vanished. Resound though is that these markings are not quite right. They seem merged with another, and you see markings suggesting an offspring rather than the god himself. Examine the second part. This one is even more obscure. Your teachers once told you of the Lady of Death and Rebirth, the mistress of winter that sacrificed herself each cycle to bring about spring. Morena or Marzana was her name. Perhaps this tram is a place of worship for a child of the two gods. Thus the two altars will likely honor turmoil for Perun and nature for Morena. You know that you need to place an offering on only one of the altars. Well, for the offering to turmoil, which is your lead domain, offer any melee weapon as tribute as you do not have a good one to offer. You do not feel that you have the right tribute. Either your weapons need to be crafted from better materials, or you need to bring more food. Offer the ultimate sacrifice to appease any god. A life. Do I get to choose <laughs> the life? If I do... Leave for now. Leave for now. Hmm. We don't have the greatest weapons. Wooden wand. Dryad artifact is not actually that low tier, right? I mean... Everything else is pretty bad, but this is this is higher level. I mean, what can we make? All right. Well, I should check my research because this will tell me the highest level things that I have. Because I'm not entirely sure what they are as a weapon. Great sword, quartz great sword, probably being the number one thing, which is not that much better than what we have now, though, is it? Hmm. 
Hmm. Actually, can't look. And we're just well. We have the steel. So we could do the steel. But we lack the quartz to check. So why don't we mine up enough quartz next turn? And let's see. I'm leaning towards the life. We've already sacrificed so much. If we can give them a child, <laughs> right? I don't want them to just, like, take Capitan Bear. I don't know. I don't know. Um, we will move... Oh, I actually could have just done things this turn, couldn't I have? Yeah. Well, that's too bad. Okay, we'll camp here again. We'll get the quartz. We'll let other people... Well, no. Let's let's look at the crafting first. Actually, let's look at the research. Do we have something we can research? Nope, just a bit. We'll let the other people then pick this up. Six turns is not bad. Not bad at all. And we can put some into the dryad wood, I suppose. And the crafting... Crafting, I'll need to think about. I'll need to think about more than I have time for now because we are out of episode. Uh, out of episode, true. Out of time, probably a more accurate statement. But we are out of episode, so we are going to have to end it here. Next episode, we are going to think about. I mean, we got some advanced points. We can spend them. We are going to think about what we want to spend them on. I mean, maybe getting our great swords up to level three. Right? I feel like if we go down one path, we might as well go down it as hard as we can. Conversely, I mean, it's not that I don't really want to, to spend too much, like spread out too much. I'm a little worried, right, that maybe spending the points now and spreading it out too much on too many different materials could come back later on to bite me. I don't have any idea if that's true or not. But maybe we do go ahead, get great swords level three, see what we can even do with that. And then consider, you know, going up in uh, maybe the codexes, right? Start boosting up the two-handed scrolls. I'm definitely interested in uh, seeking those points into that. I'm also curious about uh, two-handed pole arms, and we don't have anybody who uses ranged physical weapons. It would be nice to have uh, a little bit of backup there. And, uh, yeah, well, we'll figure all that all out next time. Till then, my name is Man the Maker. Take care, everybody. Have a wonderful day.